Question 2. DS. If A and B are integers, is B over A greater than 8? Condition 1. A plus B equals 10. Condition 2. A times B is greater than 8. Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the algorithm of the variable approach. Algorithm of the variable approach. Flowchart. The most difficult questions are key questions, which deal with integers, statistics, probability, inequality, and absolute value. Answering this question correctly and efficiently is key to attaining a score of 50 to 51. These questions are usually related to CMT 3 and 4, so you should double-check the question with these CMTs after applying the variable approach. Now. We're going to solve the question based on the flowchart above. Remember this carefully. If you do not want to solve, or it has taken you more than five minutes, choose C. If you are solving the question, the answer can be C or E as per the variable approach. There can be two cases if you get an answer C. The question could be a key question a case which will require you to apply CMT3 or CMT4A or B. Or it may not be a key question, for which the end answer will continue to be C. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. Follow the first step of the variable approach by modifying and rechecking the original condition and the question. We have to find out whether B over A is greater than 8 if A and B are integers. Let's modify the original condition and apply CMT1, which says that we should get a unique answer as yes or no for the condition to be sufficient. Follow the second and third steps. Applying the variable approach to the original condition. Match the number of variables and equations in condition 1 and condition 2, same as original conditions. We get two variables, so we need two equations. As each condition can give us one equation each, the answer is likely to be C. Recall three principles and choose C as the most likely answer. Let's take a look at both conditions together. We get A plus B equals 10, and A times B is greater than 8. So, if A is 1 and B is 9, we get a times b is greater than 8, and a plus b equals 10, and b over a is equal to 9 over 1, which equals 9, which is greater than 8. So we get yes. But if a is 9 and b is 1, we will again get a times b is greater than 8, and a plus b equals 10. But b over a, which is equal to 1 over 9, which is not greater than 8, so we get no. We get both yes and no as possible answers, and the conditions combined are not sufficient by CMT1, which means that you get both yes and no as an answer. It is not sufficient. The answer could be E for an integer question with two variables. There should be a unique answer of yes or no. Both conditions 1 and 2 together are not sufficient, so E is the correct answer. We do not check this question further for CMTs 3 and 4A or B, as we are getting E as the answer, and that is the end in itself. That's right, even for the key questions like an integer question, you should not apply CMT 3 and CMT 4A or B if the answer is E. Answer, E.